So what that says about Errol is like, he's, when you hit Errol, if he's able to look at you, he could mentally drain you. Cause then he's, he's telling you with his eyes, that didn't do nothing to me. Oh, okay, okay. So now you're getting a little bit discouraged. Let me come a little bit closer now. You know, the body work start kicking in in the third round because Errol doesn't play with his food. Big fish don't play with his food, you know what I'm saying? Eats every rice grain. So the body works is going to come from round one. I like that jab to the body. It's going to break him down. And then his foot placement, okay, is going to fuck this man up. The jab is beautiful. Errol Spence has the best jab in boxing right now. Facts. I don't care what nobody says. It's not an argument. All right? Errol Spence has the best Errol Spence is way more technical than Mikey Garcia. Okay, Mikey Garcia has great counter punching and great timing. Um, can Mikey set traps? No. Errol sets traps all day, every day. He's making you think all day, every day. He sets every move he makes is for your reaction. You know what I'm saying? And I study this man down to a T. Um, his footwork and his foot placement allows him to have so much leverage on those punches. You know, because your foot placement is very, very important. And that's why a lot of fighters are not good. Because you could look flashy on the bag. You could look flashy on the pads. But when it comes to contact where somebody's actually moving, you have to calculate how fast they're able to get out the way. You know, um, you have to be able to calculate or, or just take an intelligent guess of what makes them react and move a certain way. Like, I know if I, maybe if I jab here, you might try to slip it. Maybe you try to catch it. Maybe you try to go on, like, whatever. I'm going to be able to, okay, I'm going to throw this jab out to bait. Set in a trap. One, Keith Thurman sets beautiful traps, too. That's one thing I actually like about Keith. He sets good traps, but that's food for Errol. Um, he'll set traps just with the jab, man. I mean, he'll double up on the jab, triple up on the jab. Foot placement is going to be perfect. Um, one thing you realize with Errol, he never looks awkward with with an orthodox fighter. He never really stepping on the foot. The only time I ever seen him do that was with um, some guy, I forgot, but he was purposely stepping on Errol's foot, you know, and Errol made him pay dearly because Errol's concentration, I don't know how he does it. It's very hard to coordinate not only both hands, but also both feet, placing your feet, speed, timing, um, dancing with your opponent. You know, that's why they say it's a dance, because he's literally dancing with you. He's Every step you take, he adjusts on his footwork, every step. So, like, that's why he's always in the pocket when he needs to be. Um, he could slip out the pocket. Um, I like when he does that. I like when he rotates over just by lateral movement with a slight angle. People are saying he doesn't have angle. He puts angles on the lateral movement. Come on, bro. Like... Yo, you're, that's a league of its own. Floyd wasn't even doing that. You know what I'm saying? Floyd was making you miss and turning you and taking you off balance. You know, or making you miss and like fuck you up on your own momentum. But I think Errol got some of that from Floyd too because I see him trying to implement it in his game and it's, it's going very well so far for him. Um, Yeah, man. So Errol's just way too technical for him. The footwork is going to be... Whew, way more than he thought he, he thought he was technical mikey's garcia's footwork is not good at all he's gonna try to turn arrow maybe on an angle he's gonna try to weave out of the way of his um his left hand because he doesn't want that straight left hand but that right hook from arrow is as hard as the straight left if you ask me yeah i mean i never felt it <laughs> thank, god. thank god mikey you're gonna be taking all of those from me guys like me okay I would never, I would like to see what it feels like to be in the ring, but no, I'm not taking those chances. So thank you again, Mikey Garcia, for taking this big fight. It's going to be a one-sided massacre like Arrow wants. Um, he's relentless, okay? He has a, he's relentless. He has dog in him, okay? This man has brute strength. I don't think you guys understand what brute strength is. Some people try to be strong. When they shake your hand, they're going to squeeze it hard. Like, nah, man. You have to control your power. Errol's the type of guy, when he doesn't waste punches. So, when he swings hard, you've never seen him swing hard and miss a lot. Only in the Kell Brook fight, where Kell Brook was really wearing him out with his size. And the crowd, the energy, the crowd was sucking energy out of Errol. You could pretty much see... How the crowd was sucking the energy out of Errol and he still got through that shit, man. You know? So, like, 
Mikey Garcia, the fans are going to be on your side, but they can't fight for you. <laughs> okay, so like, it's going to be a great one, guys. Please order that Fox pay-per-view. Fight night, fight night is fight night. Fighters are hydrated. Everybody looks good. I don't see no injuries on Mikey. I don't want to hear no excuses. No, Arrow wasn't too big. Arrow's going to come in to fight at 160. Mikey's going to be 155, what he always fights at. Even at lightweight, he fights at 150. All right, so that should be fair. The reach and weight advantage, it's still there. Okay, but Mikey's much more comfortable. He didn't have to cut weight. Um, you guys say he's more technical, and you guys say he could win the fight. So let, if he passes six rounds, the fight's very interesting to me. Very, very interesting to me. I was kind of hurt and paying this money in the U.S. too because I'm like, damn, fight might not even go five. So you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to watch these undercards, you know what I'm saying, <laughs> to get all the boxing I can. But hey, Errol, I'm just asking you, man, don't kill him, man. Don't kill him. Don't kill him. Like, ignore those temple shots. Catch him on the cheeks. Catch him on the on the chin. The chinny chin chin. You know what I'm saying? Send Mikey back home on vacay. You know what I'm saying? And then bakaya. That's it guys. Please like, subscribe. I'll see you next time.